Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sahir Palace the General Secretariat of the new elected Labour Union Federation led by Secretary General Hassan Al Halwaji. His Majesty praised the role of the Labour Union and their contributions in enhancing the progress and economic march of the Kingdom, pointing out the creativity of the people of Bahrain in various fields. He affirmed the Kingdom's keenness in encouraging all efforts aimed at supporting Bahraini workers in achieving progress and prosperity to the country, hailing the Union's movements, gains and achievements. His Majesty then wished the newly elected Labour Union Federation success. He expressed appreciation for the efforts of the General Secretariat of Labour Union Federation, hailing the contributions of the people of Bahrain in serving their country, affirming the importance of Bahraini women's role and their positive contributions to the Kingdom. His Majesty affirmed the importance of cooperation regarding labour in order to benefit workers, enhance productivity and achieve economic progress. He highlighted the role of the Labour Union Federation in defending the Kingdom of Bahrain in South in Arab and international events and highlighted the success and achievements of the Kingdom in different fields. His Majesty also hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Labour and Social Development in training young Bahrainis and qualifying them to contribute to the economic and development movements of the Kingdom, lauding plans and programmes implemented by the Ministry to make more accomplishments. Al Halwaji expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support and praised the achievements of the Labour in Bahrain under the reform project of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sahir Palace today the Apostolic Vicar of the Northern Arabian Peninsula, Bishop Camilo Balin. His Majesty the King asserted that Bahrain has always been a successful model for tolerance and coexistence among different religions and sects, and expressed appreciation for the efforts of Bishop Balin in humanitarian fields to reinforce the values of good, love and peace. He affirmed Bahrain's pride in hosting different religions and faiths as one open, cohesive family, thanks to the awareness of its people. His Majesty noted the Kingdom's efforts in consolidating the values of moderation and coexistence among all religions and rejecting extremism and intolerance. The meeting discussed a number of ways to spread the culture of dialogue and religious tolerance among monotheistic believers in addition to means of committing to moderation. 
In this regard, His Majesty the King highlighted the pioneering initiatives of the Kingdom in hosting gatherings that boost dialogue and coexistence and ensure religious freedom. Bishop Barlin, for his part, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his care to different religions, asserting that thanks to the leadership of His Majesty, Bahrain has always been home for everyone without discrimination in a united, loving society. He affirmed that Bahrain is one of the pioneering countries in the region for its tolerance of all religions and faiths, highlighting its rich history of communication and acceptance of others. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, expressing thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronizing the high-level government forum 2016. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hailed the key role played by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in leading the government work, saying that it inspired people to be more determined and to love challenges and achievements. He also affirmed his continuous support to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in developing the National March. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, thanking him for his cable. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the Government Forum 2016 is an impressive initiative by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, adding that the Forum reinforces the development march in government work and provides an opportunity to discuss ideas and visions that help develop government performance at levels of service and investment. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held today his weekly majlis at the Rifa Palace. Present at the majlis were members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of attendees at the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values. Underpinned by His Majesty's aspirations to maintain a strong bond among Bahrain society. The visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the majlis and emphasized the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today at Rifat Palace the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah Al Sheikh. His Royal Highness highlighted the success of this year's Hajj pilgrimage, which demonstrated Saudi Arabia's ability and efforts to successfully manage large scale religious rituals that bring together millions of worshippers from around the world. The Crown Prince noted that the continuous support and dedication provided by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, as well as the efforts provided by the Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, Mohammed bin Nayef bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Second Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Defence, Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, had a significant impact on the success of this year's pilgrimage. His Royal Highness noted Saudi Arabia's commitments to the further development of holy sites as reflected by the continuous expansion of the Grand Mosque of Mecca. The Crown Prince went on to highlight Bahrain-Saudi historic ties and praised the ambassador's role in further developing and consolidating cooperation between the two countries. In response, the Saudi ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and expressed appreciation for his support in further strengthening bilateral ties. Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, also attended the meeting. Under the patronage of Sheikh Issa bin Ali Al Khalifa, an award ceremony took place at the Gulf Hotel, organized by the Good Word Society in collaboration with the Arab Union for Volunteers. More details on the winners in this report with Sara al -Burek. Volunteering offers vital help to people in need, worthwhile causes and the community, but the benefits can be even greater to the person volunteering. Not just is it a stress-reducing agent, but it's also a great social activity and also receives recognition from esteemed awards such as the Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa Award, which gives you the right push to go forward. This is a, a payback for the people who have been fighting for uh, the uh, resistance in Palestine in terms of steadfastness and resilience of our people. People like Mazen who has been uh, very devoted for the community work, for developing their communities, resisting what the occupation has been imposing uh, in terms of like uh, depriving the Palestinians from their basic rights. People like Mazen has been struggling uh, tirelessly to simply provide alternative services and hope and wishes for, for uh, you know, to fulfill the dreams of the Palestinian youth and the Palestinian people uh, uh, in general. In a time when voluntary service became something uh, like a dream, it's like a nightmare for others, still you have people who th think in, in a very positive way to bring up momentum for the people who have been working tirelessly, uh, thanks to the Palestinian embassy in, in Bahrain, thanks to those people who have been around us like Al-Kalim, the Good Word Society, who have been very supportive, who actually uh, encouraged me to nominate a, an active Palestinian personality to win this reward. We are very grateful for the Kingdom of Bahrain for such an initiative that is really brings up the spirit and uh, brings back the, uh, the, 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 the self-esteem and the self-confidence in, in the minds and the hearts of all those who have been working for the, for, to serve their communities in a place like Palestine. Volunteering isn't just in areas of crisis and problems. Sometimes it's in your own community or even home or school. The Academy are the first prize winners of the Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa Award because of their help to fellow students. It means a lot for us. All of us, we're a group of volunteers that appreciate this gift. It's encouraging us to do more and more. And it's about like develop other people and subjects and uh, give them give them more help and we're going to encourage more people to join us uh, to to develop others in other subjects like we need a community of uh, much learning people smarter people this is Sarah Burek for Bahrain 55 During a reception hosted by the U.S. President, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to President Barack Obama, along with his wishes for good health and to the American people further progress and prosperity. 
He also conveyed His Majesty the King's appreciation for the historical ties between two countries and their people in various fields. Sheikh Khalid affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to further develop cooperation with the U.S. for the benefit of the two countries, praising the tangible efforts exerted by the U.S. to maintain international security and peace. The foreign minister also took part in the joint ministerial meeting between the GCC states and the Minister of Foreign and the Minister of Foreign Russian Federation, Sergei Lavrov. The meeting reviewed the progress of relations between the two sides in various fields and means of bolstering ties for their benefit and for regional and international security and stability, as well as to resolve the crisis in the region to strengthen cooperation between countries and achieve prosperity for its people, in addition to discussions on regional and international issues of mutual interest. The foreign ministers also discussed the joint work plan between the GCC and the Russian Federation for 2016 to 2020, which comprises various fields for cooperation, including political dialogue to bolster joint strategic political relations. This is in addition to cooperation in trade and investment to increase the exchange of trade, encourage dialogue between the business communities and increase investment opportunities, as well as cooperation in the fields of energy aimed at developing clean and renewable energy resources in the field of environment, health, culture, education and sports. The Foreign Minister also met with Iraqi Foreign Minister Dr. Ibrahim al-Jafari and reviewed with him the fraternal relations between the two countries, in addition to political and security developments in Iraq and the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs stressed the position of Bahrain in support of the unity and sovereignty of Iraq over all its territory and its keenness to support the security and stability of the restoration efforts and to address the forces of extremism and terrorism. For his part, al Jafari praised the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain for its support to Iraq and its stability, stressing the importance of working to advance and develop the various areas of cooperation between the two countries. Sheikh Khalid met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Thailand, Don Pramud Winay, and they discussed cooperation and friendship between the two countries and ways to strengthen their efforts in developing the bilateral relations in all aspects. He praised the level of cooperation between the two countries, which is witnessing growth and development in line with efforts to achieve the common interests of their two friendly people. The Foreign Minister also met with South Sudan's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Deng Ala Kual, affirming the support of the Kingdom of Bahrain's efforts to bring stability and restore the political and security situation in South Sudan and enhance the chances of achieving development and prosperity. For his part, Deng Ala Kual expressed appreciation for the constructive work of the Kingdom of Bahrain and cooperation with various countries in order to consolidate peace and security in the region, wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. Also, the Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the former Minister of Foreign Affairs of Serbia, Vuk Jeremek, candidate for the post of Secretary General of the UN, who presented his vision and ideas in the event of his tenure as Secretary General of the International Organization. The Foreign Minister expressed his honor to meet with Mr. Vuk Jeremek in light of the diplomatic expertise he attributed to his important position in the Republic of Serbia and the United Nations, wishing him success. The meeting covered the latest developments and regional international arenas. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Georgia, Mikhail Janelidze. He expressed Bahrain's keenness to bolster relations and cooperation with Georgia in various fields for the benefit of the two countries. Mr. Janelidze expressed the keenness of Georgia to develop ties with the Kingdom of Bahrain and bolster cooperation, praising the Kingdom's progress in various fields. The meeting discussed issues of mutual interest. The This is Bahrain International Exhibition, celebrating Bahrain's diversity and peaceful coexistence in the name of His Majesty the King, is heading to Rome, Italy, from the 9th to 12th of November. Danielle de Porto reports. Following successful showings in London, Berlin, 
Brussels, Paris, Washington DC and New York, the Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Associations, the BFEA, is bringing This is Bahrain to Rome, Italy from November 9th to 12th. More than 200 delegates will travel from the kingdom, including representatives from ministries, the Council of Representatives and Shura Council, the Chamber of Commerce and Businesswomen Societies, religious institutes, clubs, societies and charities. These Bahrainis and Bahrain expatriates will together share the cooperative, multinational, multicultural and multi-faith reality of life in the kingdom with the people of Italy. On the sidelines of the exhibition, some very special and unique events are being included for the first time, which encapsulate the spirit of This is Bahrain. We are absolutely thrilled and so proud to be able to announce that there has been established um, a chair in the name of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa at the leading university in all of Italy. Um, this is a chair to study peaceful coexistence and uh, we're absolutely thrilled that students from around the world will be able to learn and share in His Majesty's philosophy. This is Bahrain has always been inspired and supported by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and This is Bahrain Rome will leave behind a lasting legacy to the Bahrain model of peaceful coexistence. To really show to the world um, the way we live in Bahrain, we have found 10 um, multi-faith couples um, from countries like the United Kingdom and France and Italy, Germany, Belgium, who are going to uh, come to Italy to this is Bahrain event. And we're going to have a very special wedding blessing ceremony in Rome. And this will be performed by around 15 of Europe's top religious leaders to bless these multi-faith weddings. And the following day after the This is Bahrain exhibition, we will be having a Bahraini wedding uh, party for them. But the good news doesn't stop there, because those lucky 10 couples will then be invited to fly to the Kingdom of Bahrain, where we will hold a traditional Bahraini wedding feast uh, with groups of Bahraini and expatriate families. And we will really be able to show um, these lucky uh, young couples um, how we live our life in Bahrain. The largest and most multifaceted edition of This is Bahrain is coming to Rome from the 9th to the 12th of November and Bahrain Television will bring you all the coverage. I'm Danielle Deporto.